Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thanks, everyone, who finally agreed to sit in the front row. We appreciate it. Um, we're here to make a, an announcement this morning about something really exciting, the Mayor's Clean Community Competition for 2012. And I also, before we get started, want to thank all the partners who are helping us make this competition happen all summer long and make it more fun. The uh, Power and Dirt is here. The Mayor's Initiative for Power and Dirt will be working with us. Blue Water Baltimore, the Waterfront Partnership, Baltimore Community Foundation, and Waste Management, who's helping sponsor the competition. I also need to give a special thanks to CBS Radio, who will be helping us promote everything around the competition all summer long, as well as the other media who are here this morning to help us get the word out about the competition. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce uh, Ms. Our, Mr. Alfred Fox, our Director of Public Works. Good morning. Uh, thanks to Ms. Amata. And uh, as she said, I'm Al Fox, Director of Public Works. And uh, just as uh, Public Works suggests, we are responsible for, uh, simply put, trash collection, uh, clean streets and alleys, and clean water. You know, that's our mission in a nutshell. Uh, the mayor expects us to deliver a quality service to our citizens each and every day. But she also wants us to do more to get our citizens working with us. Uh, a few months ago, we had a conversation, and the mayor uh, challenged DPW to get creative and come up with some, a way to get communities involved, uh, community associations involved, uh, in the effort to keep our streets and uh, waterways and our whole city a lot cleaner. Uh, and we think we've come up with something and uh, that's pretty engaging and rewarding. Uh, today, uh, we are asking communities citywide to step up and accept a challenge uh, and enter a clean community competition. Communities will be asked to demonstrate in a number of ways that they are getting cleaner and making a difference. We are working with partners like Power and Dirt, Blue Water Baltimore, to encourage participating communities to tackle vacant lots and storm drains. Uh, we are going to offer some pretty nice prizes to four communities who make the biggest difference over the next five months of the competition. Competition registration starts now and ends uh, April the 9th. And the information and the application are posted on uh, baltimorecity.gov or can be mailed to you if you call uh, 311. The competition is open to all community associations uh, that are officially registered with the Baltimore City Planning Department. And we hope you all will accept the challenge and move toward making Baltimore a cleaner city. And now, it is my pleasure to introduce the inspiration behind this competition, our mayor, Mayor Stephanie rollins -Blake. Thank you very much, Colonel Fox. Uh, good morning to everyone, and it's a pleasure to see you all. I, I, I feel extra impressed today that we have uh, such historic features such as uh, Isaac Myers and Phyllis Wheatley that are joining with us in the, the competition today. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about this new competition. I, I ask for fun and excitement, uh, and DPW delivered. If anybody knows, uh, if, if you know me, you know that I, I love a competition, so if I can make it a contest, uh, I'm all over it. So this is very exciting. But, it's fun, exciting, it's a competition, but it's also serious business. Uh, to grow, um, in, order for, um, in order for our city to grow, we have to continue to strive to make it a great city. And this means we must all work together uh, for clean streets, clean waterways, and clean neighborhoods. And let me say it again. This means that we must all work together. No one is exempt, we need all, all hands on deck. Uh, the city, and as hard as the uh, DPW workers work, uh, they cannot clean up after every single resident, every commuter, or every visitor. We need to take responsibility for ourselves and our community. This has to be a team effort. The cleanliness of your community is a major indication of your own personal health. Not using a trash can matters. Carelessly littering matters. Untended vacant lots matter and clean, sto clean storm drains matter. It all matters because every little piece 
eventually adds up to some big, unsightly, and unhealthy piles in our community and floating in our waterways. The only creatures who appreciate a dirty city are our, uh, our enemies, the rats. And I think we can all agree that's a population that none of us want to see grow in Baltimore. So get engaged, get excited, and start making a difference in your community. And somewhat fitting that we are making this announcement on Valentine's Day. Uh, for many, it is the uh, once a year expression of love uh, that we uh, you know, spend a lot on roses and chocolates and, and uh, are extra special, extra special to the ones that we love. We know uh, the best romantics don't need Valentine's Day to prove their love. And they're doing it every day, year after year. And the same goes for your love of the city. It's not enough to express your feelings on one day a year. You need to put in the work every day. The same goes, uh, so again, I need your help to prove, I know that I love our city, so we need to make sure that everyone across our city is proving and showing their love for the city. So register your community and get your neighbors involved. It's not enough, we can't just do it with community association presidents. If we don't have everybody involved, this is not gonna work. So we will, co we will select the community that has made the biggest difference in becoming and staying a clean community. From each of the four sections of, of the city, northwest, northeast, southeast, and southwest, those, each of those, uh, one from each um, part of the city will receive, one of the communities will receive $5,000. That's one in northwest, $5,000, one in northeast, $5,000, southeast, and southwest, each $5,000. There will also be four second place communities selected, one from each section, and they'll receive $1,000 each. I, I think those prizes uh, will be exciting for communities. I know that there are so many communities all over the city that are trying to do great things and just need a little help. And this, I think, will be an incentive. I want to give special thanks to Wheeler Brader Technologies and the Baltimore Community Foundation for generously supporting this competition. Again, if we don't have partners, we can't do any of these things. And we have great partners in the city that know that uh, if we work together, we can achieve our goals. You will be able to follow the progress of the competing communities on our city's website, as well as through our media partners, uh, CBS Radio and, and, uh, and others. So thank you, uh, CBS uh, Radio, for joining in our healthy competition. And on October 27th, join us again to announce the winners on the same day as our fall cleanup. Thank you again. I look forward to seeing clean streets all over this city, and I will uh, bring Celeste back up to introduce our partners. Thank you again, everyone, for being here. Thank you, Madam Mayor. And now I'd like to introduce our special partner, Baltimore Community Foundation, uh, Ms. Cheryl Kashani. Thanks, Celeste. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Colonel Fox. Um, the Baltimore Community Foundation is thrilled to be the city's uh, partner, and we have been for a number of years in helping to make the city cleaner and greener, and, uh, and we are also totally on board with helping make the city grow. We appreciate that bold goal. Um, this wouldn't be possible without the support of Waste Management. You're going to hear from Jeff in a minute, but their funding uh, for this to support this competition, as well as uh, their past support for helping to make the city cleaner and greener, has actually gotten into a lot of different neighborhoods. So we're glad that they're uh, staying the course and uh, helping again. This is really a fun way. Um, but the communities, I, I don't, how many people are here, are, well, there are people here I know from community groups and there are people around the city that are going to want to get involved in this. But neighborhoods in Baltimore know that they have been picking up trash and making the city cleaner for years. So this is a wonderful boost to the work that they're already doing and hopefully encouragement to get more people involved. Um, I also chair the City Sustainability Commission and with that hat on I can say that our number one goal to make the city cleaner is to eliminate litter in the city and you absolutely cannot do that just by having DPW pick up the trash. We have got to work at the neighborhood level so this is a terrific way um, to have people have a little fun and get some rewards doing that. Celeste and I were talking as she was uh, organizing the press conference. And I think the other thing that's really encouraging, especially at a time when we're all setting our sights on um, growing the city and greening the city and cleaning the city, is that we're starting to see a lot of the messages resonate with each other and build on each other. 
there's um, strong messages about health and its connection to making the city cleaner. There's strong messages about more trees. Uh, Waterfront Partnership is here and their messages about water and being able, wanting to swim and fish in the harbor. And now we're talking clean streets. These things you should take comfort and confidence in knowing that the people working on these things are all working together. Those messages are all part of the same tune and um, I'm just thrilled to be involved and um, we encourage everybody to sign up and, and uh, compete. Thank you. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, not only does Wheelabrator Technologies turn our trash into something good energy for households across the city, but they're also very generous supporters of our efforts in communities and to make our city cleaner. Uh, so with that, I'd like to introduce Mr. Jeff Primavera, the Regional Manager for Wheelabrator Technologies. Thank you, Celeste, for that very nice introduction and good morning to everybody. On behalf of Wheelabrator and Waste Management, we welcome everyone to the Clean Community Kickoff. Wheelabrator and Waste Management take very seriously our obligation to be a good neighbor. We are located in your community and have been an active community member and partner for nearly three decades. So when the Mayor's Office told us about the Clean Community Competition, we knew it was a natural fit and extension of our partnership with the City. Wheelabrator and Waste Management have been privileged to work with the City of Baltimore. In partnership with the city, we have provided dependable and environmentally safe disposal of your MSW since 1985, approximately 6 million tons. We have provided reliable electric power for 68,000 Maryland homes and steam to Baltimore's businesses for the past 26 years. And in addition, Waste Management's single stream recycling partnership with the city has processed over 84,000 tons of recyclables since 2007. At Wheelabrator and Waste Management, keeping our community clean is not only the right thing to do, it is the safe thing to do. The City of Baltimore, Wheelabrator, and Waste Management are asking the citizens of Baltimore to join us in reaffirming our commitment to keeping the city and the surrounding communities clean by joining us in the Clean Community Competition. We cannot do it without your commitment, dedication, and hard work. In closing, Wheelabrator and Waste Management are extremely proud of our partnership with the City of Baltimore and our service to the city citizens. We look forward to working with you to help keep our community clean. Thank you, Mayor, for providing us with this wonderful opportunity. Thank you, Jeff. And now we'd like to uh, offer a special little treat. We've been having a little fun with this competition, and we've uh, adapted a song. And as many of you probably know, city employees have all sorts of talents, and a few of our employees are actually very good singers. And I'm going to invite uh, to the microphone right now uh, Mr. Kurt Coker and Ms. Tiffany Walker, who are going to perform an adaptation of You Made Me Love You. With, with apologies to Phyllis Wheatley, who's looking at us here for the poetry. You made me love you, Charles Village, Rosemont, Hamden, Belair Road, Guilford, Canton. You made me love you, Park Heights, Brooklyn, and Upton, from Carroll Park to Clifton. When you get messy sometimes, you make me sad. But when you sparkle, oh, you make me feel so glad. You make me smile when you sweep up your gutters and when you use your trash cans. You can be grand. It's true. Yes, it's true. Indeed, it's true. You know it's true. Give me clean streets, clean yards, and cleaner alleys. From, From Locust Point to the Jones Falls Valley, Baltimore. Sweep up because we love you. Thank you. Thank you, Tiffany.
Tiffany and Kurt, those lyrics were adapted by Mr. Kurt Coker, a man of many talents. Um, I want to thank everyone for being here today. A special thank you to all of our Solid Waste, Bureau of Solid Waste colleagues for helping put this competition together and keep it going all summer. And thank you to the media for helping us to promote this. Get involved, Baltimore communities. We want to, we want to work with you this summer. Thank you. And the mayor would be happy to take questions about the competition. I'm just a little concerned that I wasn't asked to join in the... <laughs> <laughs> you know what, you see me at karaoke, you know I can... I have. Next time. Next time I'm in. At least I could, have, I could do a backup dancer. I was ready for you this morning. <laughs> I was ready. Anybody? You sure? All righty, thank you very much. <laughs>